the accelerated approval for tolatumab, I think it's um, an important one for the field of uh, thoracic oncology and a major step forward for patients with small cell lung cancer. Uh, this is the first such approval of a bispecific antibody uh, in lung cancer in general and in any solid tumor for that matter. So it's, it's quite encouraging that the data was convincing enough for the FDA to approve this through the accelerated uh, mechanism. But having said that, we still recognize the fact that accelerated approval doesn't mean full approval and that there's ongoing effort to further solidify the evidence from the initial study that led to the accelerated approval. So I would be um, you know, looking forward to additional data sets uh, that the company is planning and you know, enrolling patients on the trial that will you know, confirm the, uh, the initial observation from this um, early, early signal finding trial that led to the accelerated approval. This is a definite option for patients. Uh, we should bring this up in our conversation with the patient. We should let them know um, the potential benefit and also educate them on the potential side effect. But even when we run into some headwind, in terms of the side effect, it's easy to manage those side effects. And um, I think just like we do for immunotherapy, um, I would venture to say that unless there is a real contraindication to this drug, any patient with small cell lung cancer who progressed after the frontline chemotherapy should be offered this option and then jointly with their physician make a decision whether or not to proceed or, not, uh, or use some other alternative strategies. <laughs>